All right, well, we're going to go <clears throat> kind of play around today just a little bit and uh, do a little bit off-road. Just kind of woo, play with the brakes. Woo! Ready, bud? Go up some... Hills, wow. See if uh, we can play with the truck a little more than we have been. So it's definitely super fun to play around with this thing off road and kind of figure out what it can do. I'm curious, I guess I don't know if the off road suspension setting here is the same as the Baja valving on at least the suspension aspect. So curious if that, if anybody knows about that, if that is consistent or not, but um, if you do know, let me know. This thing just goes up stuff, no big deal. I feel like, woohoo! What do you think, Ben? Yeah? It's bumpy, huh? We're in two-wheel drive right now, so Let's see if we have any reason to go to four, but probably not. Whoop. Look at these holes. These things are huge. I could probably go through them a lot faster, but I'm going to be chilling because I got, got the little man with us today, and we're in. Whoa, bud. Do you like that? Benny likes going off-road. Doing some new stuff, huh? Ready? Here we go. See her fishtailing all over the place. <laughs> so we're in two-wheel drive. So if I go ahead and put that back into four-wheel high, we'll get a lot more traction. But right now, just kind of seeing how this thing handles in two-wheel. I haven't done that really. It is super fun just playing with uh, all the modes that this thing has right out the box. <laughs> the traction is noticeably way different with two wheel drive versus the four wheel high setting, uh, obviously, but it's pretty cool. Let's see here, come into another little roller section here. I did scratch the driver's door last time I was out here, so not quite sure where that happened, but I think it was somewhere around here. We'll see if we can find it. Yeah, it's pretty cool having a truck that can just go cruise off-road like this and doesn't really have much concern with it. It's super fun. I want to get into some more off-road trails, find some routes around the Treasure Valley area in Idaho. I'm in Boise, Idaho, Meridian area primarily. Um, so yeah, and I do real estate investments, buy, sell, and investing. So if you guys have any questions about Idaho in general or investing or starting a rental portfolio, all things I can definitely help you out with as we have a rental portfolio ourselves. And I help clients with that all the time, house hacking and uh, leveraging existing properties in ways that help you grow a portfolio. Uh, all the while doing some off-roading. So this is probably more than likely where my door got dented was through this brush and stuff. But um, I think if I can go ahead and get, uh, I need to put it probably in four wheel high. Definitely a whole different traction experience, at least when you're in four wheel high instead of two wheel drive. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch it into four wheel high here. Give me one second. All right, so now we're in Baja mode. And I'm gonna suggest, I don't, so one thing I don't really like, like if I, I'd prefer to shift like normal instead of having to shift with the paddles, but, or at least have the option to, which maybe I can do that if I change some of the presets. But being in Baja mode, it makes me pick those ahead of time. So kind of different. I feel 
feel like the suspension's softer in Baja mode, but maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Looks like they threw down some like uh, seed here to help grow some grass. I don't know. Pretty interesting. Definitely hooks up in four wheel, way more than in two wheel drive for sure. All right, so that was not much of an off-road like adventure per se, but <clears throat> just a, a little outing to take the little guy, bend it out and get him off-road. See, would you like that? Did you have fun? We did a donut and went through the brush and the little, uh, the sand wash areas, uh, as you saw. Drove around a little bit without the camera just so I could be a little bit more present with the driving and have some fun. Uh, but yeah. I want to find some more trails. If you guys know of any in uh, the Boise Valley, uh, Ada Canyon, Gem, Boise County, uh, in the foothills that link up real well. I know there's a lot up 8th Street, and then there's quite a few, like there's this road, Pearl Road, that crosses across one of the little rain, hill foothill areas here. Um, but I'd like to do something that would be cool to go up around Bogus Base and maybe out to the Sawtooth. I'm going to try and do it. Uh, run out to Atlanta, which is an old mining town uh, at the base of the Sawtooth. That'd be fun. I've done that on side by side and it's epic and beautiful. Um, but yeah, the truck is, I just want to like go use it more, you know? It's, it's totally comfortable day to day driving where this is where I think the TRX would have been. Uh, I like the TRX, it's a really cool truck. I love the Rams, but I don't think it would have fit the bill as well for day-to-day -day driving so like this one i've been i drove pretty aggressively the first probably four or five days just to have fun in the truck and so i'm making my way back i got 836 miles on the truck now i started with 280 when i got it uh, and that's eight days ago and i have uh, average miles per gallon of 15.8 right now it was 16 when i got here so uh, just burned off 0.2, but I'm gonna try to get that thing up to about 17 is my goal once it's all broken in Nicely and everything's uh, where it should be. But yeah, the truck is great. It drives as a daily Exceptionally well, like I said the seats are like the most comfortable seats I've ever sat in um, I'm excited just to own this thing for a while and see how it goes and uh, I want to use it for what it's made for. There's no point, in my opinion, in buying a truck at this price point that's made to do X, Y, Z if you don't ever go and take it off road or do X, Y, Z with it. So leave in the comments, let me know if you agree with that. Also, uh, back to the TRX, you know, I like the TRX a lot. I contemplated building out a brand new 2023, which would have been about 98,000 to 100 grand or so, I think. Um, I just, I can't do the, I don't know. I don't like the constant roar of the V8. Like the V8 is exceptional. And yes, I love a V8 sound, um, but I can't. And idiots going across the lane to pass when they definitely shouldn't be doing that. Luckily, we always try to leave a lot of space and time to react, but she's, some people are crazy. Um, yeah, so TRX would have been nice, fully kitted out, but uh, I just don't need the V8 sound constantly. I like that I can put this thing on silent mode and drive as if I'm driving like an old man truck, and I can get you know 17 miles per gallon on a road trip or 17 and a half pretty easily. Some people even more on 37s, like that's nuts. And then I can turn it up, set my settings up, and I can reverse smash this thing off road. So. Those are all the reasons I love the truck for what it is. Uh, if I heard Chevy's coming out with the, the Meteor. I don't know if you guys have heard about that. The Meteor, look it up, it looks bad. It's full wide body, mid-travel or whatever you want to call these Baja style travel, because they're not real long travel. Mid-travel kit, uh, factory Chevy or GM and GM with the, I think it's with the Corvette engine, the Z06 engine in it, but that would be nuts too. I'd probably end up going that route if they end up having the same features and functionality as the Ford. Super fun brand. I like Chevy GMC. I just feel like they've been dated or held back for a while from a tech and ergonomics perspective. 
their, their uh, 6.2 liter V8 is exceptional though. I did drive one and uh, in their Trail Boss like before I bought this truck. And I thought about building one of those up with power, uh, was it power, um, Pax Power Sports or Pax Trucks. They build them up to be a mid-travel kit truck, a uh, similar price point as the Raptors and stuff. And that would have been a great truck. I just think for resale and for not exactly knowing what it's capable or competent in, it would be a little bit more difficult and you lose a lot of the factory warranty stuff that you maintain with the Raptor, apparently. So yeah, that'll be sick. I love that V8, I love GM and Chevy. I just think that it's time for them to like bring it into current fit and finish and trim. And I know that their most recent tech update interior dash and stuff is a big step forward but uh for me it's just still not quite there yet like they're missing quite a few features i think should be standard on trucks like that especially at that price point so yeah another day in the ford raptor gonna get out probably do some free riding some dirt biking uh soon here out in the hills so stay tuned for some clips of that and let me know what you guys want to see or any questions you have about the truck I am in Idaho, ready for spring, sick of winter here. So hopefully wherever you guys are, it's warm and you're ready for a good spring, summer kick coming. All right, guys. Talk to you soon. God bless.